I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what happened. I messed up the live. I messed up the live. I done fucked around and ended it by mistake. All right, we here. We here, though. All right, here we are. We here. We here. All right, here we go. All right, yeah, this shit about to be exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. So what's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? Hold on. I'm live now, just making sure everything's good. Checking in, making sure everything's good. All right. All right, y'all. So, what's up? How y'all doing today? Today is Saturday, and... um. Today is Saturday, and I'm excited to see what we can do. All right, so today's today's live is going to be about how to win in life. If you see it like it right now, it's because I'm doing something real quick to fix all of this, make sure everything is where it needs to be. <sighs> everything's good. Everything's okay. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. I want everybody to get in here. I want everybody to, you know what I'm saying, get in here. Let's do what we got to do. And let's talk. All right. Hello? So then let's just do Delta then. Because if the website not working, then don't need to worry about it. Let's just do Delta. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right. No, I'll just do Delta. All right, thank you. That's probably a sign. All right, thank you. All right, y'all, it's time now. It's time now. It's time now. Let's go ahead and put on, put on, we put an Instagram live on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, I hope y'all ready. That's all I'm going to say. We got Instagram up. Now we pulling TikTok up. Yeah, y'all know I go live everywhere. Y'all know why my hair stand up like that? All right, here we go. Time to go live. What's good? What's good, everybody? Let's go. We live now. What's good, everybody? How y'all doing today? Listen. Listen, but hold on, hold on. Hold on, before we even get started, before we even get started, let's let's clear the energy out. Before we even get started, hold on, hold on, before we even get started, let's just get the energy out the way. Some of y'all, some of y'all showing up, some of y'all are showing up today with some type of negative energy on you from maybe yesterday maybe a week ago you see let me tell y'all something <laughs> let me tell you something if you are entering this space right now i need you to leave whatever has been going on with your family with your friends with your relationship with your job i need you to leave it outside the door right now because if you do not tell your mind and tell your brain i want you to be open to this new information You'll be stuck on the old and your mind won't be able to reciprocate and re be able to receive what it needs to receive from this information. So 
first thing that I want to say is that y'all need to go ahead and leave all that old stuff out the door. So whatever happened last week, whatever happened, you know, a couple days ago, leave it at the door, okay? Because we want to make sure, listen, we want to make sure that we are able to take in and retain as much information as possible, all right? So what I want you to do is I want everybody to, when I hit this bowl, I want everybody to take a deep breath. And you're going to literally release, remove any old things, any baggage, anything that's been on your mind, any fears, just and just release it, all right? All right? So, you ready? Here we go. Release. 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 You feel me? Release. Now, I ain't even going to hold y'all. I had to come on here today because we got too many people playing victim. We got too many people out here playing victim. And I'm going to be real with you, man. (laughs) Dude, you're going to continuously have situations in your life that are fucked up, that are not what you want if you keep playing victim. Like some of y'all have gotten so good at playing victim. Some of y'all have gotten so good at thinking that the world is trying to beat you up. The world is trying to defeat you. The world, you know, if you keep coming into life with that kind of mindset, best believe life is going to be like, okay, that's the role you want me to play. I'll be the, I'll be that. A lot of y'all are, are, and and I'm guilty of this sometimes. A lot of y'all are expecting negative things to happen. A lot of y'all are so used to negativity in your life because that's all you focus on that you're like expecting the next negative thing to happen in your life. So you can be like, see, I knew, I knew everything don't work out. See, I knew all it's like, you're looking for proof that the world is against you. And let me tell you something, anything that you tell the world, you're always going to find the proof for it. You're always going to find proof for it. You're always going to find proof. So if you're looking for the world to tell you, hey, things not going to go good for you, guess what? The world will be like, hey, we're going to prove it to you. It's always looking for evidence. You see, you have to get good at being fearless. You have to get good at not allowing things to get you off your rocker. You have to stay tunnel vision and you have to stay calm. Everybody comment, stay calm. Everybody comment, stay calm. Everybody comment, stay calm. Everybody comment, stay calm. You, you gotta, you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you gotta be able to stay calm when adversity comes because when you stay calm during the face of adversity, you'll realize that it's not really adversity, it's actually an opportunity. But you're freaking out so much that you can't even get a clarity of thought to realize that everything is actually presenting itself in a way that you can achieve it, that you can hit that next goal. But because you're so used to things not working out for you, you give up at the face of adversity, not realizing that adversity is actually an opportunity for you to level up. But some of y'all are so stuck in a victim mentality that when an opportunity for you to become a superhero comes up, you actually turn to be a victim. You see, the difference between a superhero and a victim is mindset, is what they think about the situation in front of them. You see, everything can look like a whole different color, a whole different picture based off of how you view the world. I can look at a cloud and I can see a bag of money and you can look at a cloud and see a wrench just because the place in your life is different from the place I am in my life. Why do you think they always do those ink block tests to see where people's mind is at? Because guess what? This whole world is based off of perception. In my eyes, I perceive that I am super successful. I am super wealthy. Everything works out for me in my life. In my eyes, I feel like I'm super lucky. I'm highly favored. I'm highly blessed. But for some reason in your life, you feel like the world is against you. And guess what? The world will continue to show that it is against you as much as you think that. Because the world is your, is your, is the, the world is your limit. The world is your limit. And, and what you decide to do with those lemons is based off of you. You can put them in your eyes and burn yourself or you can make lemonade. You feel me? But I don't know. For me, I feel like I'm just tired of entertaining some type of victim mentality i'm tired of like 
like I don't want to I don't want to I, I don't even want to hear people talk about some but it's like it's hard but it's like bro like I don't got time for that shit no more bro like let me tell you something somebody somebody DM me right somebody DM me and was like sticks my life is so hard like my parents migrated to the U.S. at four and I can barely get any jobs and this and this and that. And I'm like, boo fucking who? Like, boo fucking who, bro? Like, like you want to talk about hard? Do you know that there's some people that couldn't even do what your parents did? Some people couldn't even migrate to the U.S.? But you want to talk about, boo, it's hard, it's hard for me to get a job. It's hard for me to... Maybe because you was meant to start a business. Maybe because you was meant to create jobs for other people. But you're so hooked on what life is doing to you, you don't even realize what life is doing for you. You get what I'm saying? Oh, my God, like, it's so hard for me to get a job. It's so because my parents migrated over here and this is, bro, bro, bro. Maybe because you was meant to create jobs for other people. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's why you feel like life is beating your ass and it's because you're literally going down the wrong path. You see, when you go down the path of least resistance, the path that's for you, you'll see that life just starts to work for you. Life starts to be a little bit less difficult because you're working with life. A lot of y'all don't realize that life is beating your ass because you're going against the tide. You know, it's so easy for us to compare our life to what other people have going on to the point that you'll think, oh my gosh, like, like, but this person has this, but this, this person has that, but this person has this. Okay, and some people are saying that same shit about you. You gonna keep looking at what everybody else doing or you gonna buckle up and focus on what's on your paper? Damn, bro, you gotta stop giving all these damn excuses, bro. You gotta stop with all the excuses, man. In the moment that you, listen to me good, okay? Listen to me good. The moment that you start entertaining excuses, I want you to entertain the things that you're grateful for. And you may say, Sticks, man, what made you even get on live today? What, what, let me tell you what made me get on live today. I felt myself thinking like, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I started thinking about shit like, oh, man, I got to do this. Oh, man, I got to, oh, man, this, oh, man. And then I had to sit, sit back. What's up, Couture? I had to sit back and really ask myself like, is there, like, what's going on? Like, why are you upset? Like, like, there's nothing wrong with your life. There's nothing wrong with your life, bro. Like, I'm, I, I'm, I, like, I really feel like this right now. And I feel like y'all need to hear this shit, bro. Like, y'all got to stop letting life beat you up. Y'all allow little situations to completely ruin your whole 24 hours. Something that lasted... 30 minutes has now taken up your whole 24 hours because you decided to allow it to affect you emotionally. You allowed it to, to stay within your aura and continue to pick at you. Man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. Yesterday was an 11-day couture. That makes sense why you was crying yesterday. Let me tell you something, dog. One reason... And if y'all not in the mystery school, if you're not in the magnetism class, I don't give a fuck if you feel like, oh, but I want to grow, but I want to. You have someone who's clearly here trying to make you aware of the things that are blocking you in your life. Let me tell you something, okay? Let me, let me tell you something. Listen to me good, okay? You can read as many books as you want to. Let me tell you what I do. I help you become aware of the blockages that you have caused within your mind. That's what's different about my teachings and everybody. Everybody is just giving you what to do, what to do, what to do, but they're not teaching you who to be. And a lot of you guys are playing victim, and this is why you haven't been able to be victorious. I'm just being real, dog. I'm just being real, bro. Like, I look at the people that I used to be around. I look at the people who left my life. Man, I don't give a fuck no more, dog. Because when I was able to take ownership over my shit, I, that's when I grew. A lot of y'all not taking ownership over the shit that y'all doing and you bleeding on other people. You're bleeding on other people because you can't sit your, sit your ass down, be by yourself, not bother other people, not want to be entertained by other people, but sit your ass down and ask myself, hey, what's stopping me? 
What's stopping me? What's stopping me? What's stopping me from success? Laziness. What's stopping me from success? I'm not working hard enough. What's stopping me from success? I need somebody to tell me what to do. Man, what the f Man, let me tell you something. <laughs> Don't start no business if you need somebody to tell you what to do. Don't start no business. Don't start no business. Don't start no career. Don't even start that YouTube channel if you need somebody to tell you, hey, make sure you upload today. You grow. You grow. You're grown. You're grown. You're grown. Let me tell you something too, man. Huh. Let me tell you something. Stop looking at your bank account as a uh, 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 a direct correlation of your success. Let me say that. Let me say that one more time. Stop looking at your bank account as if it's a direct correlation with your success. And you may say, "Stakes, what do you mean? Like I thought that's what?" No, no. No, because you have people who are making tons of money but is not happy and does not feel successful at all. You want to know why? Because they chose a career based off of money instead of choosing a career based off of their success. I chose to listen to me. Listen to me. I chose to get a job when I didn't need a job because I was making lots of money. I chose to get a job. Not for the money, but because of the experience, because I was able to be around people who I thought was successful. You know how many of y'all would not even allow yourself to do that because of your own ego? You'd be like, I'm not getting no job. I'm already making so much. Okay, but didn't Kanye West intern at Fendi and made $500 a month because it wasn't about the money? It was about what can I learn that's going to give me the money? You see, a lot of y'all are working jobs that are completely disconnected from what you love to do. See, ain't nobody told you working a nine to five was bad. Ain't nobody told you that. The problem is, is that y'all allowing these entrepreneurs who's trying to sell you something, tell you that a nine to five is terrible when that's not the case. You see a nine to five. And a lot of times is the first step to that career, because sometimes the, the nine to five will make you aware of how much you don't want to work a nine to five. A nine to five will teach you about the business that you're in. If that's what your entrepreneurship or your career is about, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I know that I want to be a YouTuber, right? Check me out. Because y'all got to stop with the fucking excuses. Like, I'm, let me tell you something. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Somebody said, what is the baseline of spirituality for you? Freedom. Freedom. And authenticity. That's it. That's, that's all spirituality is. Spirituality is freedom and authenticity. But how do you get freedom? By becoming aware of what's around you. How do you become authentic? By becoming aware of what's in you. That's all spirituality is. We keep trying to make things so hard by, but, spirit, but if I do this, then I'm not spiritual. But if I had all these blocks and, and this is what's happening within the spiritual community, we over here creating so many, uh, this and, but oh my God, you're drinking Red Bull. You're not, oh my God, you're, bro, get out of here with that, dog. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. Nobody got time for that, bro. You got to be yourself. You got to stop allowing other people to tell you who you are. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And that's another thing, right? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I hope y'all, I need everybody to share this live with three people. I need everybody to share this live with three people and comment done. Share this live with three people and comment done. Let me tell y'all something real quick, right? Let me tell y'all something. You know, this is this is how the world works, right? So I'm on I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube right now, right? And listen to me. Like I need y'all, I need y'all to listen to me real good, right? TikTok, I used to have 200, 300, 400 people on live at one time, right? Amazing, right? Now, TikTok, I, I may have 100, 200 people there, right? You see, a lot of y'all would be like, TikTok's, TikTok's shit will be to me. TikTok's not, TikTok's not giving me viewers no more. TikTok's not this. TikTok's not that. See, that's the problem. Where you think that there is a problem, I think that there is a solution. You get me? Y'all be 
y'all allow things to become a problem and y'all leave it there. And that's why it stays a problem. You see, so instead of me being like, oh my God, TikTok, TikTok's not allowing me to get the love. TikTok's not sharing. TikTok's not this. I say, okay, I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to go somewhere else. And guess what? Now I'm going live on two other platforms that have also started to pay me. They have also started to show love. They have also, that's the problem. Y'all are looking at things and people and situations and you're like, they're not appreciating me. They're not loving me. They're not this. They're not that. Go somewhere else. The answer is oh so simple. The answer is oh so simple, but it's easier for you to complain and sit there like a, like a, a victim. Go somewhere else. Because now look, while I'm over here trying, trying to waste my time, trying to get TikTok to work with, there's people on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook that's been waiting for me. You see, I, my brain, my mind does not have the ability to entertain an unfavorable outcome. I really wish y'all hear me when I say this, Like I could cry saying this right now. Like, my mind does not even entertain something could go wrong. My mind does not even entertain, oh, what if, what if, fuck that. If I'm going to say what if, it's going to be the most outlandish, great, possible, positive thing that can happen to me. You going to use your what ifs on something negative? Fuck that, man. You keep entertaining, but oh my God, but what if my phone breaks? But what if this, but what if you can't make this bill? But what if, man, the fact that you even entertaining that shows that you don't even got real faith, real belief in yourself. Bitch, don't come to me talk about something, but what if, if you, man, let me tell you something. It's not if, it's when. Let me say that one more time. And I, re and I want y'all to sit back and simmer on that. It's not if, it's when. When it's when it's when and if you look at the word when it sounds like when like we won when it's not if it's when we're gonna win. All the limitations. Let me tell y'all something, okay? This world is an illusion. This world is not what you think it is. But it's hard for us to perceive it for what it really is because it's hard for us to think that we are in a picture when we are in the frame. It's hard for us to see the bigger picture when you're in the frame. Let me say that one more time. It's hard for you to see the bigger picture when you are in the frame. Okay? So a lot of y'all are not able to see what's really happening because you're so stuck on just this, this first person viewership. I recommend everyone read the book, The Alchemist. I recommend everyone read the book, The Alchemist. Also, um, between today and tomorrow is the last day to enroll into the magnetism class. We have some new videos coming up, and the mystery school is open for enrollment. The Alchemist. You see, I always feel like, like, I always feel like everything is working for me. So if something doesn't happen, I feel like, okay, I'm being protected. I'm being protected. See, y'all, the first thing y'all think when something doesn't work out for you, like, man, I knew it. I knew it was too good. I knew it. What the? No, 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 you see me, I feel like everything is working for me. I'm blessed and highly, I'm highly favored. I'm highly favored. But let me tell you something too, though. When you start to take on that identity of the highly favored, you better be prepared of people hating on the highly favored. 
You see, here's the thing. You cannot accept the reality but not want to accept the pros and the cons of it. Oh, you want to be wealthy? You want to be highly favored? You want to be chosen? Best believe that there's going to be people that hate on you, dislike you, send you hate. But you got to be able to deal with that. You know, I, I just, I feel like now I'm so in flow. And, and, and it's not always easy to trust flow because you don't always know where the flow is taking you, like when you're swimming. You know what I'm saying? So I said, what message can you give your younger self and how much have you changed? Um, what message can I give to my younger self? My younger self, I would say with the way that you work, there's no way you won't reach success. That's something that I want to say to my younger self. And that's something I want to say to myself right now with the way that you work young Ori, young sticks. There's no way you're not going to reach success. But what I want to say is that be okay being patient because the type of success that you want, you're not going to want to cut any corners for it. So fall in love with the journey. Fall in love with taking one step at a time. Fall in love with the journey. Because a lot of y'all are on Instagram, on Facebook, on and, and you all you see is all you see is success, 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 but you're not seeing the work or you're not seeing the you get what I'm saying? So I just want to let y'all know that just be careful following some of these creators because you should be getting inspired by them. You shouldn't be um, getting jealous or envious. But what I will say is that. Be careful with these people that you follow because a lot of these people are doing scams. Me, I could never. I could never. I could I could never. 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 My 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 heart and my authenticity. I just I I could never scam, like do a scam, like I could never, I could never, I just could never. Graceful instead of instead of humble. I just, I, there's people out there that's doing cash shop scams and Apple Pay scams and Amazon scams, and I just, I feel like when you start to do stuff like that, once you start to do stuff like that, I feel like you affect your wealth energy in the long run like one thing about me I feel like whenever I need money it always comes to me and I feel like that's because I've never disrespected money oh did y'all hear that I feel like what what are you talking about yeah see so li listen li listen I've, I've always seen that when I needed money, it came to me. But I feel like whenever you start to scam or you start to say, somebody need to hear this. Somebody, somebody like, ooh, damn, damn. My people in Florida, my people in Atlanta, you know, Jewett, all that. Let me tell you something. I feel like once you start to scam or you start to do stuff for money that you know you shouldn't be doing, you start to tarnish your relationship with money. You start to ruin your relationship with money. Money starts to not respect you because it's like, damn, you can't even get me right. You can't, you can't even like, you had to steal me from somebody. Let me tell you something. You lose her how you got her. That's a. <laughs> you lose her how you got her. And I think of money like a woman, Monet. You lose her how you got her. So if you scam for her, don't be surprised when you get scammed or you lose money or every time you try to invest in something, it don't work out. I, I, listen, I just feel like somebody, 
Roy said your money ebook is fire. Thank you. I just feel like I don't want to chase after nothing. I don't want to give anything that kind of control when it feels like I have to go outside of myself to receive. You know what I'm saying? What ways do you feel like you have changed? I love your insight. I feel like, how have I changed? I feel like I am, I have higher standards. I have higher standards. Definitely, I have higher standards. But I just want to tell y'all something real quick that y'all need to hear. A lot of you guys are not able to really see how much you've grown because you're looking at things day by day. I need you to look at yourself at the beginning of 2023. Look at yourself at the beginning of 2023. Look at yourself at the beginning of 2022. I want you to look at how much you have grown, right? You know, and... I feel like when you look at yourself in longer sports spurts of time, you're able to actually see the growth better than just yesterday and today. So now I feel like I'm wiser when it comes to people and how people use, try to use me and how people try to suck up my energy. Now, yeah, now that's how I feel now. I feel so much more wiser. And I feel like, I feel like I've gotten more wiser because of what I ask for. And that's what y'all have to understand. When you start asking for something in your life, God, the universe, the creator is going to give you assignments that will make you more aware and more wiser for your journey and your manifestation. Somebody said, what's this crystal on your neck? Um, you guys can check out the crystal shop. The link is in the bio. Click manhurst.com. This crystal is clear quartz carnelian. Clear quartz and carnelian. Got to be on that frequency. Yep, 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 yep. I, 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 check me out with this, right? I think something else that we don't realize is that we are more like the version that we want to be than we think we are. So, so let me say this, right? We are closer to the manifestation than we think we are. We are closer. We are closer to that version of ourselves that we desire to be than we think we are. And how did I learn that? I learned that when I was tripping out. I was tripping out. I was tripping out. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm that person already. Like, you know what's crazy, y'all? Like, let me, let, like, I hope y'all don't mind, you know what I'm saying? This is just to toot my horn a little bit, but it's like, bro, I used to be at my mom's house in a pink room with purple carpet, right? Obviously, that's not me. I've been in my, I was in my childhood house since I was a child, and I was, like, making videos on the ground and stuff like that. Like, I didn't really have too much money. I was working at H&M. I was, um, like, trying to, like, record people for money, like, just trying to hustle, maybe sell some beanies or whatever, trying to do whatever I can. But to now see that I have a whole setup right here where I, like, I record my videos, I was able to get me paint, just the little things. I was able to get me paintings. I was able to run a crystal shop inside my apartment. Like, I live by, by these yachts. Like, I'm just like, wow, like, I live, like, five minutes away from the beach. I'm just like, wow, like, I may not be at the finished product. Listen to me. I may not be at the finished product of what I want, but you still have to give yourself credit and gracefulness and gratitude for getting closer than you were before. That's the thing. Y'all only want to show appreciation when you're at the, at the finish line. But how would you feel if people only gave you appreciation when you hit the finish line? How would you feel if people didn't give you appreciation every little milestone you had or, or people act like it didn't matter? How, how would you feel if you went from $20,000 a year to $80,000 a year and your mom is like, that's it? You're not, you're, not, you're not a millionaire yet, though? How would you feel about that? How would you, how would, how would you feel about that? How would you feel about that if, you went from $20,000 a year to $80,000 a year. 
and everybody was like, that's it? Like. So now imagine what you're doing to God. Imagine what you're doing to the most high. Every time that you buy you a new piece of clothing and before you couldn't buy yourself. It, let me tell you something. I remember when I couldn't even buy myself Starbucks. Now if I want to get Starbucks, I can go get Starbucks. I'm grateful. You see, y'all got to unplug from the matrix. And a lot of y'all are thinking the matrix is, oh, the nine to five, the work life. The, no, the, let me tell you something. The matrix is not something that you can see, just like Hollywood is not something that you can see. Hollywood is not a place. Hollywood is people. Matrix is not a place. The matrix is the people. Ooh, that just dawned on me. That just dawned on me. Damn. Damn. So what I'm trying to tell you is that it's people out here that's telling you that you, you listen, let me tell you something. It's the women, it's the people, it's the men that's out here telling you that you don't matter if you don't make 100,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000. You don't matter. I'm talking about them people. Those people that's making you feel like if you don't have a richer meal, if you don't have a, a bust down, you don't matter. Y'all realize that those people that say if you don't got a bag, you don't matter. Here's what I say. If you're not authentic, if you're not wise, if you're not yourself, then you don't matter. But what I'm trying to tell you is that a lot of y'all are leveling yourself or judging yourself based off of other people's standards. And that's where you're getting fucked up at. That's where you're getting fucked up at. Listen, y'all, like I said, between today and tomorrow is your last day to join the magnetism class, period. What are you drinking? Water. DM me your birthday if you want to join. DM me your birthday if you want to join the class. is $99. Do not DM me if you're not ready, period. The, the price is $99. Authentication is key all day. Stay true to your soul. Exactly. You see, let me tell you something. I know there's people and I, I let me tell let me tell you something. I think about things like Kobe. I think about things like Kobe. Right? When Kobe first came into basketball, he was not the best. There was people dunking. There was people he was 12 years old, he couldn't even score a basketball. There's people already dunking, right? There's people that already have thousands and millions of more followers than me but I'm not worried about them because I understand that if I focus on the fundamentals, if I focus on what matters, what's really important and stay authentic to that and stay consistent, I'm going to surpass everyone because I stayed focused on the things that matter while everybody else was just focused on looking good. It's the difference between the person who's saving and the person who's buying stuff to just look like they they that person. So I'm telling you, choose the authentic route. I want everybody to comment right now, authentic or authenticity. Comment the word authenticity. I want everybody to comment the word authenticity. I want everybody to comment the word authenticity. I want everybody to comment the word authenticity. Because if it's not authentic, I'm not doing it, period. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. I've had so many companies hit me up trying to do ads and brand deals and all of that. And it's like, it's not authentic. It's not authentic with me. I'm not going to do it. I will turn down money. I will turn down money. I will. I will. I will. Just, I will. Because if it's not authentic to me, I'm not doing it. You see, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I let me tell you what I see, right? I start seeing when people start seeking attention and seeking followers and seeking clout. 
that they start going against the very things that they said they wouldn't do for the clout, for the money. And I'm like, all you do is turn off the people who's been originally with you from the beginning to gain new people. Listen to this, right? All you did was turn away the people who's been with you from the beginning to gain new people who are only there for the clout. Do, do, do you hear what I'm saying? So can you change yourself from what you did in the past? What I did yesterday, I could become a whole different person today. That's the thing. You know, I was watching a book. I, mean, I was watching a book. Watching a book. I was watching a video with Kevin Samuels, and Kevin Samuels said, it don't matter where you are in the novel. You can always get you a new notebook and write a new story. And I felt that. I felt that, you know, I realized that you don't have to stay in something because you, you think you need to be in it. Do what makes you feel right. You see, I had a, I had a full scholarship to college, everything paid for it. And I dropped out because I knew what I wanted to do. I I don't, I don't, huh. Somebody said, you don't read, just watch someone else. Anyways, you know what I've realized too? You know what I realized too? When I, 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 I like looking at people like Michael Jackson, right? You see, I feel like Michael Jackson knew his worth so much that he would never lower himself. And this is what I want to tell all y'all. Stop arguing with people. Stop arguing with people. Stop going back and forth with people. Stop wasting your breath. Your breath is valuable. Your words are valuable. Your energy, valuable. So why you keep giving it away for cheap? Hmm? You're valuable. You go back and forth with your moms. You go back and forth with your dad. You go back and forth with your family. Why you keep going back and forth? Why you keep allowing these loops to play out? Michael and Kobe, the kings of modern discipline. Exactly. 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 Stop wasting your energy. They don't deserve it. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like, I'm going to be real with y'all. I, I, I feel like I've started to learn what really matters in life. And, and I feel like y'all have to really take a step back and ask yourself, what really matters? What really matters? What really matters to you? What really matters? Some of y'all, everybody trying to tell you, you need to get designer. You need to get some Louis Vuitton. You need to get some da 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 da. And it's like some people, they love, they love luxury and they love, you know, um, collecting luxury. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, do what you love to do. Everybody be collecting shit. You feel me? Shit. Everybody got their own thing that they collect. But don't let somebody who's in this lane tell you that you should be in that lane. When you know that that shit don't matter to you. I need you to take a moment to really sit with yourself and ask yourself, you know what? What really matters to me? Like, I'm going to tell you what matters to me. What matters to me is inspiring people and creating art. Like, I just want to create shit. I just want to make videos, make music, like, make clothing. Like, I just want to make shit. And and I love it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want to do. I want to make shit. And 
like build a community off of what I make. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That I want to make art. I want to make music. I want to make t-shirts. I want to make banners. I want to make all these things. And I want to inspire people because I remember when I was once that person needing inspiration myself. I was once that depressed kid. I was once that depressed kid. Yes. You know, but now I realize how much I have to be that person that I needed when I was young. And that's what I want y'all to do. I want you to focus on being that person that you know you once needed. You know? And 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 be quick to to get rid of people who aren't in alignment with that. Like, let me tell you something. I cut off people very quick when they do some shit I don't like. I don't know one person that I cut off that I wish I didn't. I don't know one person that I cut off that I regret, that I wish I didn't cut off. So a lot of y'all are afraid to cut off people because you're like, man, but I, but what if I need to talk to them? But what if, listen, I ain't never cut off someone that I went, I want to go back to. Period. Period. I'm just being real, man. I'm just being real. Is there anything you want to forgive yourself? Um, I never did anything like, oh my God, like, you know, I think the only thing I want to forgive myself is thinking that I'm too much or that I have to tone it down. I want to forgive myself for ever thinking that way. I don't ever want to feel like I'm too much. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever want to make myself, just because somebody didn't have the capacity for me doesn't mean that somebody else don't. Damn. Damn. Just because you don't have the capacity for me does not mean that somebody else don't. It's just you, babes. And I had to realize that. Just because somebody can't show up for you the way that you want them to does not mean that somebody else can't. There's there's people out there that got so much space for you. They ready for you. They like, we love you here. We there. There's people that when they see that, like, we love you here. I've experienced it. I've experienced it. You get what I'm saying? Um, y'all make sure y'all check out the crystal shop also. If you guys are looking for any crystals, I know that specifically if you are born the year of the dragon, real quick, I just want to show y'all. I just want to show y'all real quick. We added some evil eye bracelets. We added some evil eye bracelets. This is for protection. Hematite is pretty heavy. You feel me? But if you are born the year of the dragon, you're born 1988, you're born 2000, get you some dragon's blood. All right? Dragon year is coming up. Or if you're born the year of the monkey, you're born the year of the rat, you can get dragon's blood. All right? The link is in my bio. Click crystal shop and get you some. All right? And if you have any questions on what crystals you need to get, you can always just ask me. Be like, hey, Sticks, what crystal should I get for this? Because I've been losing focus. Y'all know, y'all know I'm the I'm the I'm the crystal doctor. Have you ever outgrown yourself? Fuck yeah. I've definitely outgrown myself so many times where I needed to get new. I'm at that point now where it's like, I'm like, I need to get new clothes. I need to get new shoes. I need to get new things. Because you know what I'm saying? What crystal should I get for focus? Fluorite. Fluorite. Fluorite in tiger's eye is good for focus. This is called the genius stone. Fluorite is called the genius stone. So if you are a seven life path, if you are born the year of the horse, if you're born on the seventh, if you're born on the 16th, you're born on the 25th, fluorite is a good crystal. It's called the genius stone, all right? Crystals for a tiger, tiger's eye, tiger's eye, tiger's eye. So, um... This is tiger's eye. This is tiger's eye. This is tiger's eye. If you're born 
If you're born the year of the goat, hold on, I got you real quick. If you're born the year of the goat, you should get pyrite. If you're born the year of the goat, you should get pyrite. Somebody says she not see my comment or, I mean, if I didn't reply, so what do you think? What do you, if, if I didn't reply, what do you think? Come on. Don't, 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 don't take things personal now. Don't think, oh, she don't, she don't see my comment. You're going back into victim. <laughs> you got, you, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. Nah, best known in tech age is, is Shungai, shawty. What? See, 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 come on. Nobody asked about tech age or nothing. You, you nobody, see, see? Man, listen. listen boy, uh, two, EMF, two EMF got people acting. I, I agree with you. I agree with you, but the way that you acting, you know what I'm saying? Huh. All right, somebody said for roosters. Hold on, y'all moving quick now. Nah, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Hey, hey, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Did y'all see that? Did, hey, okay, real quick. Did y'all see that video of Nicki Minaj? I'm sorry, just wait. I'm going to answer y'all question. Damn, relax. Did y'all see that video of Nicki Minaj when she was like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm leaving, I'm going to go. <laughs> they was recording Nicki and Nicki was like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. <laughs> I felt bad. Shorty was having a whole panic attack. What y'all not for to do is y'all not for to do me like that, okay? Anyways, so if I don't answer your question, just answer it again, okay? All my crystals are on my crystal shop, manhurts.com. The link is in the bio, okay? So we have crystals for the year of the tiger is yellow tiger's eye okay yellow tiger's eye i also recommend um honey calcite honey calcite hold on honey calcite this is honey calcite honey calcite i recommend for yellow type for for tigers okay um crystals for taurus moss agate Moss agate, okay, M O S S A G A T E. Moss agate, that's good for mo for money. That's good for wealth. What was the year of 1988? That's the dragon. So what I recommend is getting dragon's blood. Also, because you were born 1988, you see those eights at the end. You may have a better touch with money than other people. So what I would recommend for you is getting something like garnet or getting something like pyrite, something for your wealth or moss agate. Um, somebody said they was born February 9th, 02. What should you get? Okay, so what I would recommend is, um, what would I recommend for that person? I would recommend February 9th, 02. I would recommend green tourmaline because you're hella emotional. And I would also recommend, I know, hold on, y'all, I'm, I'm working. I'm, I'm trying to get all of y'all. Um, I also recommend, um, clear quartz so for the guy that's born february 9th i recommend green tourmaline because you're emotional and i recommend um clear quartz all right malachite too for the taurus i like that okay all right february 27 2004 i'm gonna recommend the same thing i'm gonna recommend um the green tourmaline for you and the flower agate April 19th, ooh, sweetheart, you was aggressive, uh, okay, uh, all right, you was aggressive, uh, April 19th, you're aggressive, all right, so I'm gonna recommend rose quartz for you, because you kind of, you kind of like, <clears throat> you like, uh, 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 you like, you know what I'm saying, so April 19th, I'm gonna recommend rose quartz for you, <laughs> you feel me, um, 1592, I recommend fire quartz for you, I recommend fire quartz for you. Fire quartz, um, garnet, and clear quartz. Oh, my gosh. Listen, y'all, let me tell y'all something. We got a lot of people asking about the crystal shop. So if you know what crystal I done gave you already, move quick because this stuff is about to sell out. I'm about to put the the link. Oh, gosh. Y'all stressing me out. Y'all stressing me out. All right. All right. August 2nd, 2001, I'm going to recommend, 
Amethyst for you. Lapis lazuli. Lap for the everybody. Okay, so everybody who's born the year of the snake, I'm going to recommend lapis lazuli to you only because lapis lazuli has such a connection to ancient Egypt and snakes are deeply rooted in ancient Egyptian period, um, the ancient Egyptian times. So if you are if you're born the year of the snake, 2001, um, 1989, 2013, I recommend that you go get lapis lazuli. All right. September 17, 1988. Damn, girl, you born on an eight day and you 1988. Let me tell you what you should get. You should get pyrite, P-Y-R-I-T-E. You should get moss agate, M-O-S-S-A-G-A-T-E. As you can see, I have three different moss agates right above my business. And the reason why is because guess what? Um, moss agate is known as one of the best crystals for money. If you have a garden, you'll see that having moss agate in your garden will ensure for your crops to go further. Also, another great crystal. Let me show y'all something. Another great crystal for manifestation is garden quartz. So real quick for everybody, if you are looking for a crystal to meditate with on the daily to manifest with, I am going to use Garden quartz. I've personally used it myself. These are crystals that I've kept myself. I have my own um, collection. So garden quartz. Garden quartz is what I recommend. Garden quartz is what I recommend. Garden quartz, all right? Also, for my people who are 33 life paths, for my people who are 11 life paths, let me ask you, how many of y'all are 11 life paths, 33 life paths, or 22 life paths? If you are, then you should have clear quartz. You should have clear quartz. Now you may say, why do I need clear quartz if I'm a master number? Because all you need is an amplifier. You see, this is the thing about crystals. Some of y'all don't need 30, 40, 50 crystals. Some of y'all energy is so potent that you only need one. So I see a lot of people that are 11. So again, let me say this one more time. I do ship to Canada. So for all my people that are 33s, 11s, and 22s, get crystal quartz, clear quartz, but specifically for my 11s. Let me say this real quick. Specifically. So real quick, if you're born on the 11th, if you're born in November, if you're born in February, if you're born on the 20th, you're born on the 29th, go ahead and comment, I have 11 energy, or comment 11. So if you have anything 11 in your birthday, comment 11. I'm about to tell y'all what y'all need. That's how we're going to do it. That's best like that, all right? So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So if you are an 11... I got something for you right now. I got something for you right now. So if you are an 11 or you deal with anything dealing with 11, you're going to need rose quartz and you're going to need green tourmaline. Now you may say, why? If you have 11 in your birthday, you are mad emotional. You are mad emotional. That means that when you feel energy, also another thing, uh, uh, one more thing I'll recommend too. One more thing I'll recommend too. If you're also an 11 energy or a master number, get you some sage. This is sustainable sage, okay? Get you some sage, get you something, some sustainable, ethically harvested sage, and get you something for protection. I'm going to teach y'all something real quick. If you are an 11 life path, you're born on the 11th or your birthday is on the 20th or the 29th. The reason why you feel so much emotional energy is because you're feeling everybody else's energy. This is why everybody draws to you so well. This is why people like you, right? So you're going to need something that's going to allow you to remove everybody else's energy out of your aura. All right. So. Oh, somebody said, I love the earrings. I have crystal earrings on my website. I'm glad you said something. I have crystal earrings on my website. I got crystal earrings on the website. So I got garnet. So y'all make sure y'all check. Look, 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 look. But like I was saying, for my 11s real quick, for everybody who is born on the 11th, have 11 energy, 11 life path, this is green tourmaline, green tourmaline, rose quartz, this is for your heart. This deals with your emotions, right? 
And then when it comes to like sage and like hematite, that's just for protection because a lot of y'all will leave a room and be like, wow, I feel like this. It's because you're feeling somebody else's energy. All right. All right. Somebody say you're definitely on point. I try to be, babes. I try to be. You know, I, I, I feel like the best way, let me tell you, so I feel like the best way to keep a customer coming back is to give them something that actually creates change in their life. That's what my whole business model is about. I want to create such happiness within my customers, and I won't lie, I'm not, I'm not perfect, you feel me? But I appreciate everybody that has been patient with me, that's been understanding, like, you know, I'm just now adding people to the team. More about 11. I told you what you needed to hear. You feel me? Um... Uh, so I see one, one, 2004. So you're, you're a leader. You can be aggressive. Um, what I would recommend for you is fluorite to keep you focused, fluorite to keep you focused. And then what I would recommend also is green tourmaline. Cause sometimes you can get emotional also. Um, nine, three, 2001. If you're a snake, I recommend lapis lazuli. I recommend lapis lazuli. And a lot of people, a lot of people ask me, hey, Sticks, like, what do you do for your skin? How do you keep your skin clear? How do you keep your, you know, at one point in my skincare journey, when, when my skin was breaking out a lot and I really wanted to get my skin together. So what I would do is I'll get a steamer, like a, a steamer, right? I'll do my skin. And before I would put my serums on and stuff like that, I would take this and I would go up against my jawline, and my bone structure. Because what people don't realize is that you have a lot of fluid in your cheeks, a lot of fluid in your skin, and that's why some of y'all's skin be a little bit more puffier when you want that model look. You get what I'm saying? Like, have y'all ever looked at a cat, and when you push their fur back, their face is like, squillium. You know what I'm saying? So if you know that you're looking to get your, yep, lymphatic drainage, exactly. But the thing about it is doing it with a crystal, hmm. My favorite one to do it with, though, is the money crystal. The money crystal. So if you get facials and stuff like that, if you if you work out, baby, this hurts. Like, when I be working out and I, I'll, I'll have someone, like, put some lotion on me or whatever, and I'll have them. It hurt. It hurt, but it worked. It hurt, but it worked. So, yeah, like I said, lapis lazuli for my people born the year of the snake. And for my people that's born on the third, for my people that's born on the third, for my people that's born on the 21st, for my people that's born on the 12th, uh, for my people who are three life paths, I recommend, um, what's this crystal called? Chrysocola. 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 So Chrysocola is great if you're a Gemini. Also, if you deal with communication. Also, if you struggle with speaking, if you feel like you can't get your words out, if you feel like you can't, you know, um, talk in front of people, Chrysocola is a great crystal to help you with expressing yourself. What's the best match for an ox? Lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. This is one of the most ultimate protection crystals there is. In ancient Egypt, they actually wore these as amulets from black magic or evil magic. You feel me? But um, listen, if you have any other questions on like, hey, sticks, what crystal should I get? If you go on the crystal shop and click the chat bubble, I can send them to you directly. I can send them to you directly. So if you go on the crystal shop, and you click the chat bubble at the bottom right, I can tell you what crystals you should get. And I can send it to you directly so you can just purchase it. All right? But the last thing I'm going to say to y'all is um, we, we're, you guys have about two days left to sign up for the magnetism class before it's completely sold out, like it's completely done. All right? All right. So if you know that you want to sign up for the magnetism class, go ahead and just DM me your birthday. Or if you have any questions about what crystals to get, you can DM me, be like, hey, Sticks, what crystals should I get? And I'll send it to you. All right. I love you guys so much. And relax. Relax. Okay. Everything is working out. Relax. All right. 
I love you guys.